Hello and welcome to our lesson on linear functions. In this lesson we're going to create a table of results from a linear function and we're going to do this using a function machine. So we have our function y is equal to 2x add 1. To create our table of results we need to understand that x is our variable and as we apply our function to x we create the output y. So x is what goes in to our machine and y is what comes out. The first thing that we are doing to x here is we are doubling it and that is what 2x means we multiply it by 2. So we are multiplying our input by 2 and once we've multiplied it by 2 we add 1 to the result. So when our input is 0, 0 passes through our function of multiply by 2, 0 comes out and then it passes through the next function which is add 1 and 1 comes out. So when x equals 0, y is 1. Our next input is 1 and it passes through the first function of multiply by 2 and 1 times 2 is 2. And then we add 1 to the result and the outcome is 3. So when x equals 1, y is equal to 3. Our next input is 2 and when 2 passes through the function of multiply by 2, 4 comes out and then 4 add 1 is 5. So when x is equal to 2, y is equal to 5. And finally, when x is equal to 3, 3 goes into our function machine, we multiply it by 2, we get 6, we add 1 and we get 7. So when x is equal to 3, y is equal to 7. And this is our table of results for the function y is equal to 2x add 1. Okay, let's try another question. Okay, do you want to try and complete this table of results? For the function y is equal to 5x minus 4 using this function machine. You can pause the video and resume it when you're ready. So here is our function. x is what goes into our machine and y is what comes out. And the first thing we are doing to x here, we are multiplying it by 5. So in this box we put multiply by 5. And once we've multiplied x by 5, we're taking away 4. When 0 goes into our machine, we multiply it by 5, 0 comes out, then we take away 4, and y is negative 4 when x is 0. When 1 goes into our machine, we multiply it by 5, and we get 1 times 5, we take away 4, and the outcome is 1. So when x equals 1, y is equal to 1. When 2 goes into our machine, we multiply it by 5 and we get 10. We take away the 4 and we get 6. So when 2 goes into our machine, 6 comes out. And finally, when 3 goes into our machine, we multiply it by 5 to get 15. We take away 4 and we get 11. So when x is equal to 3, y is equal to 11. We can check that this works because the term to term rule is a constant of 5, negative 4 add 5 makes 1, 1 add 5 makes 6, and 6 add 5 makes 11. Thank you very much for watching, I hope you found that useful. Thanks again and take care.